Barakah itu Our respected lecturer Dr. Nail Muhammad Kamil And my dear colleagues First of all, I would like to introduce our group member Number one is myself, Sister Salma Muhammad Shah Number two is brother Shazli Hussein Number three is brother Tamimun Asari Hello. And number four is brother Shazli Muhammad Sharif And last but not least, brother Aziman Sabtu Baka Hi-Fi Systems is located in Wellesley, Massachusetts, suburban of Boston, USA. They assemble and sell the very finest home theater systems. Before we go further on the analysis of Baka Hi-Fi System, let's watch this video. study and we will show you how to tackle these questions. Hope you understand on our explanation. Without further ado, I would like to invite Mr. Shandri Hussein to explain the question number one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Shandri Hussein. I will discuss on question number one. Uh, this question is, what is the optimal order number of LCDs that should be placed in each order? Okay, based on this question, this is the solution that we get and the answer for optimal order number is 100 unit. To get the expected number of orders, uh, we need to divide demand by quantity, which means 500 per 100, we get 5 order per year. Okay. To get the expected time between order, uh, we need to divide by 250 by 5, divided by 5, and get 50 days between order. With that explanation, I hope I already explained how to get the answer for this question. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brother Shadli Hussein, for the explanation on how we get the optimal order number. Now, I would like to call upon Brother Shazli Shazli Mahashari to explain the question number two. Okay, Assalamualaikum to my brother and sister Salma. Okay, I would like to answer the question number two, which uh, regard what is the optimal reorder point for the high, uh, part the high five. Before I Go to the question number two. I would like to discuss a little bit about the ROP. The 
Inventory level is uh, which action is taken to replenish the stock item means uh, we have uh, ROP is uh, quite uh, uh, related with the inventory. What is the optimal reorder point? ROP for LCDs. Okay, before I go further, I will, uh, I will write the formula. The demand we have got a date, 500 net. So the formula is From the case study, the, the annual requirement total is 500 divided by number of working days where 250, 250 number of working days in the year. So the answer is 2 unit. Get the optimal order number. I have to use uh, uh, the the answer is times five working days in part by five, which means then. the point. So this is the answer. I hope you can understand and you can see the uh, how the formula and the so, uh, solution. Thank you. Thank you Brother Shazli for the explanation. I hope you understand how we get the answer number two. Now, I would like to call Brother Tamima Ansari to explain the question number three. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Salma. Uh, my name is Tamima Ansari. I will be tackling question number three. So, uh, the question that has been asked here is, uh, well, what per se will Paco realize if it implements an order based on EOQ? I will be explanation. I will be explaining on assumption one. So what do we have on our hand here? Uh, what we have is uh, per order quantity will be 200. Uh, the demand per year, we assume that it is uh, 1,000 unit to 1,500 unit per year. Uh, unit uh, cost will be 1,500 per unit. The setup will be 500 per order. And the holding cost will be 150 per LCD. Uh, based on the question 1 and question 2 and the answers, we already got that the optimal uh, number of order view will be 5. Uh, between orders of this five time order will be 50 days. Uh, so, um, using uh, uh, assuming that the demand is 1,000 and the quantity order is 200, well, we got the cost at 17,500. Yeah? This is assumption number one. So, assumption number two uh, takes count where the demand is 1,000 and the quantity is two, uh, 200. Yeah? As, as difference with assumption one, assumption one I put um, one thousand demand. Assumption two would be thousand five hundred, and the answer for uh, assumption two would be eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Uh, for assumption three, uh, I have used the demand would be one thousand and the quantity ordered would be two hundred fifty. I have got the answer of twenty thousand seven hundred fifty, and for assumption four, I have used that the demand is one thousand five and the quantity is 250 
and I have got the answer for uh, 21,750. Okay, so now uh, I have gotten the four assumption based on the four, four assumption number uh, that I have given. So uh, keep in mind that uh, their annual demand is only 500. Uh, I personally don't think that it's going to come to 1,500 because remember their, uh, their annual demand per year is only 500. Let's assume that the market is good, the economy is good, that the order will be double from 5,000, uh, sorry, from 500 to 1,000. I will uh, definitely uh, use uh, assumption 1 and assumption 3 where I have used uh, 1,000 for the uh, demand. So uh, remember, as I mentioned this now, assumption 1, I have gotten the answer for 17,500. Assumption 2, uh, sorry, assumption 3, I have gotten the answer for 20,750. Uh, using these two comparison, uh, obviously assumption 1 will be the cheapest holding cost, where the answer is 17,500. So with that, I think I have answered question number 3. I hope that whoever was watching this video uh, can, can understand our explanation. Okay, now, um, YouTube watchers, we have now come to the end of our answers where we have answered question number one, question number two, question number three. I would like to conclude our answers by, by running through uh, what was the question for one and two and three. So uh, question one was asking uh, what are the expected numbers of orders and the expected time of uh, orders per year. Well, we have answered that. And question number two would be ROP. What would be the optimal rate of the points? We have answered that as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we for 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 ROP we have managed to get ten units with water. Yeah. And question number three, uh, although we can come up with a lot of assumption, we, we just do the best case scenario. Well, uh, we we got back to our case study and we saw the uh, annual demand and, and uh, annual uh, uh, posting up to the clients. Um, well, we, we still think that we, we use the, the cheapest uh, method of, of storage and we got the answer for that. Uh, with that, I thank you all the watchers for watching. I hope we can give a, a positive comment for our video presentation. Um, so, thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Kaseli, thanks, Shazli. Enjoy, enjoy. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Yeah, yeah. Full mark, full mark. Okay, thank you. Bye.